ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಷನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ ಜೂರಿ ನಾ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಷನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಜಾಬ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಮನ್ಸಿ ಬಟ್ ಮೈ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಲರ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಸ್ ಐ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಡ್ ಐ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಮಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೋಲೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಚ್ ಪಿ my interest was to join in a cs as a discipline in the engineering but being a kukunjal i had to opt electrical engineering because my parents wanted me to do that i managed to get a job in some mnc but that call letter was late as i mentioned one and a half year late later after that i tried to get into other mncs or any software related job but i had no coding experience or no coding skills so for that reason i had to join masai to build that skill gap and then get into a good nice company see i am a person who believes if you don't know one skill if it is taught from the scratch only then you will be mastering that skill it's not ki someone tells in the between or a little coach just to mug up and do the same thing when he is asked i believe if someone gives me the challenges every day give me that knowledge from the scratch so as to build above that so masai is doing that and how i came to know about masai is one of my senior in the mtech i did my post graduation right so my senior over there is an alumni of masai so he has suggested me to do that and also when he was suggesting he already cracked the job in cap germany so he was a live example for me he is an electrical grad he did that so if he could do that i also can do and plus uh, we had to pay zero amount that's so after my graduation i am supposed to give my parents a little financial support instead i should not be asking any money in return so masai is like zero upfront money and only if i get a job i will be paying so that hit me very hard as i told i am a person who works for a longer hours i usually sit for 13 to 14 hours for myself to work on some subjects so masai is very relatable what masai has helped me not only with the career i have a little problem that has occurred uh, in my family from past for 3 months my mom is seriously ill uh, she was hospitalized twice in spite of being at the this curriculum what helped me is mental stability masai gave me that distraction which is in a positive note uh, to not fall into that kind of a depression thing because the someone is very ill in the family that brings us the energy down so masai gave that positive distraction so only thing i was doing is i was working for masai and i was working at the home it was only that work and all no thoughts no negative it's, it's like empty mind is a devil's workshop that didn't have my mind is always full and uh, i did not feel it stressful because my life was very scheduled morning we wake up it's a scrum time and later on some dsa or contest then a skill athon session and then a coding session it was very structured very structured very timely and it was all scheduled see every day if we have that schedule we are more productive today i'll sleep peacefully after complete my work and tomorrow what to be done i know it already it was all structured it was all disciplined i made myself more disciplined and mentally stable this is what uh, masai gave me not only a career but also a mental stability that people require uh, i got that situation during the masai only maybe people can get it later in their life yeah Uh, i was very fortunate that i was placed even before the course date has come i mean course ended it so i was very fortunate in that way and uh, when it comes to placement experience i feel it very very nice because they know what i am good at they know what to be given to me so that i can uh, really crack it so i found it very well because i mean i am fortunate that i did not face any rejections i was just waiting for the second rounds and third rounds in few of the company and even if before the course has ended i have landed a job i have got the offer letter also in time when i was uh, going through placements in my campus i had no skill set i was just good at attitude communication and then i was a little confident when it comes to my size placement i had all the other skills and also skill set which a uh, company requires so this is the difference i found in campus placement and the my size placement. I was staying with my family when I was uh, told ki I got a job. You don't believe me I was in tears because uh, that word I was 
desperately waiting for five years just to hear that word again in my life. So I was in tears and then I was talking to Gargi ki, are you for real or you were pranking me on any way? I didn't know it was Gargi because my I don't have her name. I was literally in tears and I went to my family and they were also waiting for me to tell something like that for a long time now. So everyone is in a happy note and, and obviously for, we were waiting for four years to just wait and you got selected. So it's like that.